Hello everyone, this is episode one for the Teach Me PCB project using Fusion 360 Electronics slash Eagle. So in this episode, the idea is to show how you can make a 3D PCB. Now I will comment over certain parts, but a lot of the video is going to be sped up in order to show you the final result in a useful time frame. So let's go ahead and get started. So here, we're gonna go ahead and create a new sketch. This is just an empty Fusion file, normal design. I can go to it by going File, New Design, and I'll be here. What we're going to do is going to create a new sketch. Now, for electronics, if possible, and if you're in control of that, we generally recommend to draw the sketch for the PCB on the XY plane. So we're going to select that. And now we can go ahead and get started drawing it. So I'm going to draw the shape. I'm going to use a couple of tools. I'm going to do some mirroring and all that to get us to the outline of the PCB we want. So I'm going to go ahead and get started using the line command. So at this point, I'm happy with the sketch that I've made. I made some adjustments to it. As you can see, it's a little robot character is what I'm going for here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a PCB. So what we do is we go ahead and we select the entire sketch. We go to create and we select create 3D PCB. Now one thing that's going to happen here when we do this create 3D PCB is that the PCB is going to be created in its own file. In other words, it's going to be disconnected from this one that we just made. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. I'm going to say create 3D PCB. I'm going to select the profile. This is our profile for now. I'm going to say OK. What you see is now we have this PCB file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save it. I want to make sure we're in our Teach Me PCB project, which we are. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. It's being saved. Excellent. So now the key thing to do is to associate it with our schematic that we've designed already. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and open the electronics design. We can see here we have so we can see we have the electronics design. It's opened. We discussed it in our last episode, the schematic. And initially, to do the preview that we did in the last episode, I did make an initial PCB. So we don't want to use this one. We obviously want to use the outline that we created as a 3D PCB. So how do we link this file with our 3D outline? What we're going to do is we go to the 3D outline that we've made. And you're going to see that there's this button here that says Link to 2D PCB. We're going to go ahead and click that. Now we're going to select our 2D PCB file. I select it here. Click Select. And we see that now our outline has been transferred. Now obviously this outline is probably small for what we need it to be, as we can see. So what we can do is we can go ahead and go back to the 3D PCB, adjust the sketch, and we can scale it to make it bigger. So right now, let's go ahead and see our board information here. We can see its size, its dimensions. Okay, so right now it's about 235 millimeters by 157 millimeters. Our goal is to make it about 25 square inches. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have right now. So we obviously need to make it larger for our purposes because right now it doesn't have enough surface area for all the components that we want to do, especially the screen here. That's so big. So let's go back to the 3D PCB. We're going to edit the sketch and we're going to make this bigger. You can see the advantages here is that it's much easier to make changes. So I go edit sketch. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and make him a little bit taller. Okay, he's going to keep more or less his dimensions. Okay, that's good for us. And then I'm just going to... Just so that the proportions are a little bit better. There we are. Okay, let's say we're, we're happy with that. Now we say push to 2D PCB. And again, now we see larger will probably fit the screen module, which is really what I want to fit here in the middle. Obviously, there'll be other things that will be placed there. But this is a good start. And we can always go back and adjust the board shape as, as we see fit. Now, one key thing to, to note here, especially if you're on a size limited version, um, which can happen if you have a, a legacy standard version or if you're a, a hobbyist, you may have the, the free size limitations. Once you bring these components into the positive X and Y coordinates, if you have a size limited version, you will not be allowed to pull them back out. So you can still get your work done, but you have to be a little bit more judicious about how, when you bring the groups in, okay? In this case, with the version that I'm working with, I don't have to worry about that. So I can make the f small groups and then orient them and, and adjust them as needed. So right now, that's what we're going to do in the rest of the video. I'm going to start making the small groups, orienting them, and then start interconnecting those small groups because that's one of the things that's going to make the layout easier. Remember, we're dividing and we're conquering. So if we go ahead and lay out each section individually, it makes it easier to then bring the pieces together and find ways to make them fit. That doesn't mean we won't have to make adjustments later on. And again, we may make some adjustments on the PCB, but that's something that, that is part of this process back and forth. Now we have the luxury in this case that we don't have to conform to, an, to an, any enclosure. So we have a lot of flexibility on what the PCB shape should be. Um, but that's something to keep in mind when you're working on your own designs. If you have an enclosure, then the process is going to be a little bit different. And we obviously won't have this level of flexibility that we have here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll be right back uh, to close out this video. I'm going to go ahead and arrange the small groups, kind of coordinate them together. And then in the next video, we'll be showing how to do the routing. So now at this point, everything's been arranged. And I know it looks crazy, but if we go ahead and hit rat's nest, you're going to see that the air wires are going to clean up to nearest locations. And what's going to happen is now, because we've clustered everything together, we can see that we just have to focus on routing the individual blocks and the interconnections between them become much easier. And that's what we're going to be seeing in our next video. So thank you very much for sticking with me through this, and I'll see you next time.